In this video, we have a lot to talk about. AMD gets a random boost in performance with just the Windows update. Intel is still having issues. And there's possibly gonna be a GPU shortage coming up here very soon. And who knows, this guy's gonna fall. Let's talk about it. All right, so we're first gonna start off with the AMD boosts in performance with just the Windows update. This one's been pretty controversial. Uh, it's been all over social media uh, between Reddit, X, for those of you that don't X, Twitter. There's been a lot of back and forth. Uh, a lot of speculation because in the videos that uh, Hardware Unboxing showed, it got up to a 32% increase in boost in certain games with just the Windows update. A lot of people are saying that this was due to the lack of Windows optimization that they previously did for AMD and the hardware unboxing side of things um, versus, you know, you just pretty much building a PC, plugging it in, installing Windows or drivers, and then pretty much going off. Um, so again, just a lot of controversy. We haven't personally tested it in-house. We, we're going to very soon. Um, we do want to see it because we do a lot of pre-optimization settings for Windows. And all this came about with the Windows 11 24H2. A lot of people were doing the preview testing and there was some rumors going around that there was getting some you know boost in performance and then that's why hardware unboxing did a video and kind of showed off what their personal results were then you have some people coming out saying well i'm not seeing any boost in performance i'm actually seeing probably a one percent boost in performance versus what we're seeing versus hardware unboxing so this is one of those types of things where we personally would recommend for you to test yourself and see on your own personal rate to see if you actually get a boost because this is not just with the new 9000 series from AMD. This is also back with the 7000 series and the 5000 series. So there's a lot of articles like this one that we're seeing with WCCF Tech, um, pretty much showing that this is for Zen 4, Zen 5 Architect. It's actually now available on Windows 11 23H2. So you can actually test it right now. It's no longer in a preview mode. So you can do it on your current Windows 11 version. So again, if you guys have Windows 11, give it a shot. I mean, it's free, it's not gonna hurt anything. Definitely uh, see what happens. I'm very, I'm very excited to test it ourselves just to kind of see what we get on our end because we did test the 9000 series CPU on the previous version of Windows. But again, we do uh, pre-optimize our, our PCs before we send them out. Um, with the uh, AMD issues like the 7800X or actually 7900X 3D and the 7950X 3D, you have two CCDs. And in order for you to use the other one, you had to use uh, Xbox Game Bar to utilize the correct uh, CCD, it's, it was kind of a mess. And I feel like this is kind of the same thing that Windows is kind of like pre-optimizing it for you. Um, that's my only guess on it. But it has been floating around social media quite a bit, uh, tons of articles out there. Again, our personal opinion would be just download it, give it a shot. Like I said it before, we're gonna uh, do our own in-house testing. So make sure you guys are following us on social media, mainly on, on Twitter. Um, and also we might do a long form video about it. All right, moving on to Intel. You probably all have heard this already. This whole year has been pretty much about the i9s with the Intel crashing, the issues that they've been having. Um, we finally have gotten official updates from the motherboard manufacturers. They did release BIOS updates from Asus, Gigabyte, MSI, and so on. Uh, it is a microcode BIOS update. Um, so obviously if you go through around, you'll see that you have all different types of motherboards, obviously from MSI, for example. Um, so just depending on the board you have, you definitely wanna go look and make sure that they did release a microcode update for your motherboard. But what this board, pretty much what this is gonna do, it's a microcode update. So it is down clocking the CPU a little bit still. So you are losing a little bit of performance. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I did personally test the microcode update uh, on our personal PCs here. We saw probably around like a, about a two to 3% difference uh, decrease um, in comparison to the previous BIOS update, which there was another previous BIOS update that did down clock it a little bit. Um, but this is pretty much the final rollout is what they're saying. This is something I recommend doing if you're having these issues definitely do it but if you're having these issues and it continues to happen even after this bios update your cpu might be a little far too gone and you definitely will need to rma the cpu to intel um, which they did extend the warranties as well so you are covered at least at least intel is taking care of the cpu issues so at least you're being taken care of and it, it is you can replace it essentially um, but again definitely update the bios um, give it a shot see what happens but this is all over the place i want to show you real quick if you do have an MSI board, which this only applies to MSI, um, this is something that was kind of weird. They started doing this last year. If you do go to the MSI's website and you do download the BIOS update, make sure you're here at the bottom you have an ME firmware. Um, it pretty much gives you an instructions on how to do it. You gotta download it. It's an executable file, which pretty much that folder pretty much just kind of gives you a rundown on what to do. Uh, it literally says just execute the MSI ME for the Win tool. 
.exe in Windows, and then it will automatically complete the entire MEFW update. So you have to do that and do the BIOS update as you normally would. If you guys need help with that, I did post a video on social media, on Twitter, on how to do a BIOS update. We might be up, uh, probably doing a how-to video as well here soon on a long-form version um, because I know a lot of people don't know how to do it and it could be kind of scary. Um, so yeah, BIOS updates are out. Double check your border manufacturer and see if yours is out. All right, so this sentence is probably one you don't want to hear, GPU shortage. This is something we've been affected through if you guys have been in the gaming scene, uh, even during the pandemic, through COVID. We have been through a few shortages so far. Uh, even ourselves being in SI, we definitely have run into this already. Uh, probably the probably the heaviest one was definitely the last one during COVID. Um, but there is, again, allegedly rumored that there could be a possible another shortage of the GPUs um, due to the main reason that GDDR6X memory modules, which is here at the bottom, has, perp has uh, reportedly failed quality control. So it's forcing it, forcing them pretty much to be replaced um, the modules themselves that and that definitely applies to the RTX 4070 all the way through the 4090 so now they're kind of scrambling to supply a different type of GDDR6 for the 4070 all the way to the 4090 um, our best seller here as, as at power GPU we sell a ton of 4090s I mean that's probably about 40% of our business um, so we can we're definitely probably gonna see something here soon um, we kind of started hearing it um, on the back end with working with certain distributors. It's not guaranteed. Again, it's still rumored. We kind of have to wait and see probably towards the end of the year, probably going into the holidays, um, since there will be an increase in sales for sure. And the 70 series is a very popular card. Uh, probably one of the best sellers for Nvidia. The 60 and 70 series are very big. And there has been a pretty big uptick from what I've heard as well, um, through like Micro Center and stuff like that with the 70 series. So we can definitely see some shortages probably coming soon. Um, as of right now, at a micro center, for example, um, a friend of ours did head the micro center actually yesterday and there was a lot to select from GPU wise. Um, so I don't think we have seen the effect yet. It could be probably another month or two, uh, probably like I said, going into the holidays. So just keep, just stay on the lookout for that. Um, we'll definitely keep everyone posted as much as we can on social media. Uh, again, just one of those things where we definitely recommend just follow us on social media for sure because we will definitely keep you guys updated on the rumored GPU shortage. All right, so we got some more news on the Intel Core Ultra. Sounds weird. I have to get used to that. So Intel Core Ultra 3 to 9 is, is the pretty much the labeling. But as you guys can see, this is all rumored information. Um, there is speculation I'll be launching in October, which I really do hope they do come out in October so we can kind of put all the issues behind us with the i9s. Hopefully these new ones don't have any issues. This last generation of hardware has been kind of all over the place. Um, but as you guys can see, there's a pretty long list of, of rumored uh, pretty much models that they're coming, coming out with. And these, they're saying they're gonna be a lot more power efficient. So you guys can see the predicted TDP on like, for example, the, yeah, I'm gonna highlight it for you. So right up here, the Core Ultra 9 285K at 125 watts, which, I'm gonna have to see that to believe it because right now our uh, Intel Core i9-1300Ks and 1400Ks, even with the latest BIOS update, they're hitting around 250 uh, TDP. Before that, they were upwards of like 350 to 370. So if they become more efficient, that's fantastic. But if you guys wanna check out these specifications, you can see them online at videocards.com. Um, pretty nice list, definitely a good, a good introduction to the new Core Ultra series, I guess. Again, we'll have to get used to that because we're so used to just saying Intel Core i9. Now I have to say Intel Core Ultra 9, Core 7, Core 3. Who knows? There's gonna be a lot of different names and changes. So before we head out, make sure to check us out at powergpu.com. We got ready to ship PCs. We got custom builds as well. We also have the new power series. So definitely check that out if you need a PC in your future. And thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys later.